I had a sweetheart Why she left me, I don't know Never even wrote a letter Telling why she had to go Go and look out for another It's so hard for me to do Friends, they all say Be on your way Instead of sitting around and feeling blue Love don't last forever If you're not careful all the time You might lose your one and only Just as fast as I lost mine I believe that she was happy And now I know that I was wrong I'm all alone, my love is gone Left me with this old heartbroken song I carried my pack And I lived the free life of 
of the rover From the Mary's Green Basin to the dusty outback I waltzed my Matilda all over Then in 1915 my country said son It's time to stop rambling there's work to be done So they gave me a tin hat and they gave me a gun and they sent me away to the war And the band played waltzing Matilda As our ship pulled away from the quay And amid all the cheers, flag waving and tears We sailed off to Gallipoli How well I remember that terrible day when our blood stained the sands and the waters and how in that hell they call Suva Bay we were butchered like lambs at the slaughter Johnny Turk he was ready he primed himself well he rained us with bullets and he showered us with shell and in five minutes flat we were all blown to hell Nearly blew us right home to Australia And the band played waltzing Matilda As we stopped to bury our slain We buried ours And the Turks buried theirs Then we started all over Just tried to survive in that mad world of blood, death, and fire. And for ten weary weeks, I kept myself alive while around me the corpses piled higher. Then a big Turkish shell knocked me ice overhead. And when I awoke in my hospital bed, when I saw what was done, I wished I was dead and never knew there were worse things than dying For no more I'll go waltzing Matilda All around the green bush far and near For the hump tent and pegs A man needs both legs No more waltzing Matilda they collected the wounded, the crippled, the lame And they shipped us all home to Australia All the armless, the legless, and the blind, the insane All those proud wounded heroes of Sula And as our ship pulled into Circular Key I looked at the place where my legs used to be and thanked Christ there was no one there waiting for me For to grieve or to mourn or to pity And the band played all sing Matilda As they lowered me down the gangway But nobody cheered, they just stood there and stared And they turned so now, every April, I sit on my porch And I watch the parade pass before me I see my old comrades, how proudly they march all reliving their dreams of past glory And I see the old men all tired, stiff and sore Those weary old heroes from a forgotten war And the young people ask, 
what are they marching for? And I ask myself the same question. And the band still plays while sing Matilda. And the old man still answer the call. But year after year, their numbers grow fewer. Someday no one will march there at all. The waltz in Matilda, waltz in Matilda. Who come a waltz in Matilda with me? And their ghosts may be heard as you're passing by the billabong. Who come a waltz in Matilda? with me.
I'd surely live it over Only walk in brand new shoes and just lay down in clover Only work on Christmas Day, all the rest go sporting Spend my days down at the creek and every night go courting Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain Sugar from the sugar cane and my waters of the mountain of home sweet home it makes my eyes grow misty papa singing gospel tunes and mama sipping whiskey whiskey from a white oak barrel sure do make good liquor makes the night seem twice as bright and days go by much quicker honey from the honeycomb water from the fountain sugar from the sugar cane and my waters of the mountain If I had a new-made quilt, I'd fill it all with feathers Take my rosy by the hand and lay down there together All the days that I was young, thoughts that keep returning Drive the winter chill away just like a log fire burning Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain Sugar from the sugar cane and my waters of the mountain Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain Sugar from the sugar cane and the waters of the mountain. Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain. Sugar from the sugar cane and my waters of the mountain Honey from the honeycomb, water from the fountain Sugar from the sugar cane and my waters of the mountain Stars and hot dogs, no home to your woman. 
How somebody stole my old coon dog, wish they'd bring him back. Run them big coons all the fast, and little ones lose their track. Pheasant and Dan and Jay Bird walked around again. They'd stole out the briar patch, and never lost their feather. Somebody stole my old coon dog, wish they'd bring him back. Run them big coons all the fast, and little ones lose their track. I went up on the mountain, give my horn a blow. Thought I saw a pretty little galley going on down the road. Somebody stole my old coon dog, wish they'd bring him back. Run them big coons all the fence, little ones to the track. I wish I had a nickel, wish I had a dime, wish I had a pretty little cat hugging all mine. Somebody stole my old coon dog, wish they'd bring him back. Run them big coons or the fans, little ones to the track. Rat coon's tail is ringing all around, the possum's tail is by. Rabbit ain't got no tail at all, little white bunch of iron. Somebody stole my old coon dog, wish they'd bring him back. Run them big coons or the fence, little ones to the track. Well 
That high life you're living And you've still got the devil to pay Join your friends While you got them Cause you know you're getting older every day You can't wait to let them take you to the bottom and I'm getting tired of standing in your way But when you hit the ground Don't go looking around For the pieces of the love you threw away It's just a part of the high cost of leaving And you've still got the devil to pay Been flying so high for so long that you lied to yourself now. Most of all, baby, all that you needed from me was the freedom to fall. When your bright lights are gone, you'll be standing alone. Forsaken in the naked light of day And you'll know that it's all over but the dying And you still got the devil to pay When your bright lights are gone, you'll be standing alone And forsaken in the naked light of day And you'll know that it's all over but the dying And you still get the devil to pay Take me back, take me back, take me back home If I had a quarter Take me back, take me back 
If I had a dollar, take me back home. I would still be with her. Take me back, take me back. Back up in the holler. Take me back home. Take me back, take me back, back to Carolina. Take me back, take me back, take me back home. If I had the morning, take me back, take me back. If I had the evening, take me back home. I would still be with her. Take me back, take me back. I would not be leaving. Take me back home. Take me back, take me back, back to Carolina. Take me back, take me back, take me back home. Don't this town look pretty? Take me back, take me back. Ain't this factory something? Take me back home. Why does it only make me take me back, take me back, long away and lonesome? Take me back home. Take me back, take me back, back to Carolina. Take me back, take me back, take me back home. Take me back, take me back, back to Carolina. Take me back, take me back, take me back home.
me a sack of flour I bake a whole cake every hour Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time But if you say so, ain't gonna work round here no more Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time Chickens in my sack, I got the bloodhounds on my track. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time. And if they beat me to the door, gonna set them on the floor. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, time, time. Keep that skillet good and greasy all the time. Brandy, gonna give it all to Mandy, gonna keep her drunk and boozy all the time, 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 gonna keep her drunk and boozy all the time. I'm gonna get a sack of flour, bake a whole cake every hour, keep that skillet good and greasy all the time, 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 keep that skillet good and greasy all the time. Pathway to die. 
eyes are light and the window shining bright. Yes, my mother has a light here tonight. Yes, my mother has a light here tonight.
fallen cold and slow The clouds have covered up the mountain Why did you ever have to go? And if the sun don't shine tomorrow It'll be a dark, dark day for me You keep on moving like the river I'm paying the price of being free That I'd never known The road to love was rough and rocky But traveling back takes twice as long And if the sun don't shine tomorrow It'll be a dark, dark day for me You keep on moving like the river I'm paying the price of being free If you should ever change your mind, love and come and stay right by my side The sun would shine behind the mountain And dry this river that I've cried And if the sun don't shine tomorrow It'll be a dark, dark day for me You keep on moving like the I'm paying the price of being free And if the sun don't shine tomorrow It'll be a dark, dark day for me You keep on moving like the river I'm paying the price of being free
love has ruled the world Even Adam set the pace and started it a world I met you and now I know you're the one for me Come on back and you will plainly see That just a little loving will go a long way You're making me happy the rest of the day yeah, put your arms around me and I'll be your slave Cause just a little loving will go a long way That you really know how much that I love you If you did, you'd come on back and make my dreams come true Well, your loving eyes, your tender kisses seem to linger yet Well, I'll forgive, but please don't you forget That just a little loving will go a long way You're making me happy the rest of the day and put your arms around me and I'll be your slave Cause just a little loving will go a long way
Ask more pretty girls than one Ask more pretty girls than one Every town I ramble around Ask more pretty girls than one Our mama told me last night She gave me Son, you better bet your round and round I say you love me to one As more pretty girls than one As more pretty girls than one Every town I ramble around As more pretty girls I'm thinking about those pretty little girls Hoping I'll never die As more pretty girls than one As more pretty girls than one Every town I ramble around As more pretty girls than one Chased old Satan around the stump and I give him a kick with every jump and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there, over there, over there. I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. Cause I got no skillet and I got no lid, but my ash cake tastes like shortening bread and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. I chased old Satan down the lane and I hit him in the head with a walking cane and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there, over there, over there. I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. Cause I got no skillet and I got no lid but my ash cake tastes like shortening bread and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. I chased old Satan through the door and I hit him in the head with a two by four and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there, over there, over there. I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. Cause I got no skillet and I got no lid but my ash cake tastes like shortening bread and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there. I chased old Satan to the pit and I hit him in the head with a crock of and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there over there over there I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there cuz I got no skillet and I got no lid but my ash cake tastes like shortening bread and I'm gonna wear that starry crown over over there over there I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there Cause I got no skillet and I got no lid But my ash cake tastes like shortening bread And I'm gonna wear that starry crown over there
had the cattle all went in the lane. You could see the fields of blue grass where I roam. You could almost hear them cry as they kissed her boy goodbye. I wonder how the old folks are at home.
Stay back, it's dangerous in here. Viel Spaß. Speed it up a little, that's why yeah. I wanted to have another one. Yeah. This is Tootie and the Crawfish. That's one crawfish right there. That's number one crawfish. Let me hear Daddy Bass, Bass Daddy Crawfish. Crustaceans, let's go. This is a genuine, true narrative. You know what a narrative is? Some people call it a story, some people call it a lie, but this is, this is really a true story uh, about my friend Bill Monroe. When I was growing up in Georgia, back in the 40s and 50s, uh, if Bill Monroe come in the state of Georgia, I went to see him because he was my hero back then. And uh, so he played a little town close to where I live in Georgia. And I, I rode my A Model 4 down there. Uh, back then, A Model 4 was, a, you know, you could buy one for $35. Cool. Four door. Anyway, so I went down to see him. Um, came back after the show, all excited, went to bed. Next day, a telephone call. He says, Tut, he says, would you do something for me? I says, if I can, Bill. He said, yeah, well, uh, down in Hawkinsville, when I was playing last night, I left my shoes, a pair of shoes down in the motel. He says, would you go down there and get them? I said, yes, I'll do that for you. So I drive way back down there uh, and pick up his shoes, and it was, a, it was a pair of alligator shoes, very expensive, nice alligator shoes. And I brought them home. And uh, we had just built a new home, and I put them in a closet in our bedroom. In the closet, uh, uh, it was a new home, so inside the closet, we never put the fl floor covering down. So I just threw the shoes in there, and I was going to keep them until the next time I saw Bill. Well, 
two or three years later, I uh, checked in the closet, and those shoes were in there, and they were molded, you know, real greenish, bluish mold all over them, and I, and I threw them away, you know, and thinking he done forgot about them shoes. Well, the very next time, he said, boy, where are my shoes? I said, Bill, I says, uh, them things molded in my closet, and I throw them away. You're a damn liar. You wore them out. <laughs> <But I, laughs> That's my Bill Monroe story. <laughs> but that, that actually happened a long, a long time ago. I'm too used to a mandolin shop. <coughs> yeah, it is, it is hard, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. Ball and chain. They call me by a number, not a name. Lord, Lord, I gotta do my time. I gotta do my time. Breaking hard. I gotta do my time Breaking hard And I worry
Just a few more days I ought to settle down and I quit my riding ways Lordy Lord With that gal of Well, usually I tell this joke, I usually sing Mountain Dew or the boys is going to play Mountain Dew or something. And this fellow from New York was a going, he had come from New York to the country down in, the, in these mountains. And he was a, coming down this gravel road a walking, and met an old man that had a sawed off shotgun and a half a gallon of liquor in, a, in his arms. And they got to talking. And this old man told this fellow from New York, he said, to, Take you a drink of this moonshine liquor. And that fella from New York said, No. He said, I, I've never drunk no moonshine liquor. He said, I've always drunk bonded liquor. I, I'm, I'd be afraid to drink that. And the old man said, No, nah, take you a drink of it. No, he says, I'm afraid to. And all at once that old man just grabbed up that shotgun, stuck it right in that boy's face. He said, I said, Take a drink of this moonshine. And that boy from New York just turned that jug up and just Googled it down. <laughs> and after he drunk a big swallow or two, he took it down. He said, I believe that's the worst tasted stuff that I've ever tasted of in my life. That old man says, hell, I know it. Hold this shotgun on me till I take a drink. <laughs> cabbage head song. Did you ever hear, have you heard me sing the cabbage head song? No. I called it the cabbage head song. Now, Older people, and my son makes fun of me when I say this, because he says I'm the older people, you know, I tell <laughs> you. But older people called it three nights in a bar room. But I said when I used to go off to play music with Doc, I could hear my wife was singing this. Let me sing it. Don't turn that on. And I sang a verse of it. I stood the horse right in the barn for a house on the bay. I come here, little wife, explain this thing to me. How come a horse here in the barn for a house on the bay? I've traveled over this country four thousand miles or more And the saddle up on the milk cow's back I never have seen I hung a coat right on the rack for the rack for the Lord to be. I come here, little wife, explain this thing to me. I come a coat here on the rack for the rack for the Lord to be. You're all for me, blind, but can't you never see? I've got the bad, bad quilt your mother gave to me. I've traveled over this country. 
a thousand dollars or more. And pockets on the bed, quills I'll never have for more. Here's the worst I can stand. Now the third night that I come home, drunk as I can be. I lay a hand right on the pillow of my head off to be. I come here to the wife and explain this thing to me. I come ahead here on the pillow of my head off to be. I've traveled over this country a thousand miles or more And the mustache on the cabbage head I never have seen before Montregrass is really easy. Anybody can do it. Because everything's just the one note. Roll in my sweet baby's arms, roll in my sweet baby's arms, lay around the shack till the mail train comes back, roll in my sweet baby's arms. Uh -huh. You know, just one note. Then you can sing harmony. <laughs> Ready? Everybody sing harmony. <laughs> roll in my sweet arms, roll in my sweet baby's arms, lay around the shack till the mail train comes back, roll in my sweet baby's arms. And then, only one note. Right. Well, no, see, a G run, a G run takes on new significance because it's... <laughs> roll in my sweet baby's arms, roll in my Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Roll in my sweet baby's arms. Lay around the shack till the mail train comes back and roll in my sweet baby's arms. Opera is pretty bluegrassy. It's uh, the same kind of subject matter, you know, the indiscriminate death of women and uh, all that sort of stuff. And I'll sing you this little bit of uh, 
from an aria from L'Elisir d'Amori by Donizetti. It's called Una Furtiva Lagrima, which basically means blue-eyed darling. Una furtiva e lagrima Nel gli occhi suoi spunto Quelle festose giovani Invidiar sembro I wish I had a girl on a rocky top Cercando io voce lo si può morire a cielo si può Forse nuova portano dalle canvalle limpidi che fonde. Hang on, let me do that again. <coughs> Ma, ah, there it is. Ma le radici forse nuova portano dalle canvalle limpidi che fonde. <coughs> One more time. Ma. <coughs> Ma le radici forse nuova portano, no, no, nuova portano. Ma le radici forse nuova portano, dalle convalle limpidi che fonde. E Firenze c'è il moglie dalle stella, salgon paraggi sorre da I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, they got all them off chords there in that Opry. Uh, we lived out in the country, and we only went to town like every Saturday. Not every Saturday, but when we went to town, it was on Saturday. Uh, so I could hardly wait to get to town. Those two guys were in that little town. And uh, one was playing big old Black Gibson, and the other one was playing some modern guitar. You know, you could hear them just like blocks away. And the minute I heard them, I started running, you know. And I followed them around, man, all Saturday afternoon, first one and then the other, listening to all that good stuff they play. So I was influenced by a lot of black people because they would probably play music uh, where we were. Uh, my where, mother. Where was that? Uh, Georgia, in Milledgeville, Georgia. It's down in central Georgia, uh, about in the middle of the state, long then. That's where I grew up when I played music. My mother played a little fiddle. Uh, my dad played a little bit of... Clawhammer, banjo, you know, Fraylin. And I had a brother that played mandolin and a brother that played a guitar. And my, and, uh, but we never played as a family. Never did. Never did. Uh, it's right. different times. But I would have loved to have done that. Now, but I later played with, with two of my brothers. But my mom, she got big and fat like me and she couldn't hold a fiddle, you know. But uh, it was fun times. And we have square dances, you know. And the houses down now are built up on pillars. Some people call them stilts, you know, built up off the ground. So they decided they're going to have a dance in the neighborhood at somebody's house, okay? So they go in the living room and take out the furniture and the rugs off of the floor in that one room and have a square dance. And they get full of people in the old house and be going like that. I mean, I kid you not, just jumping, man. Like a trampoline. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, and I had a lot of good times. But I guess that's all I thought. <laughs> oh, man.
it's just, you know, we couldn't believe, and still sometimes I can't believe that we'd play shows where and have a big audience, and people in our country didn't like the kind of music that that I sung and the kind that Doc played and things like that. They they'd left that and gone to rock and roll and other things, and 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 we'd play a show and they'd just cheer us and stand up and cheap cheering and and I'd say Doc, them people sorry for us. We're old mountain people and we look bad and. And they know we're not good, educated people, and they just feel sorry for us. We'd play another song and then do the same, maybe better. Director Doc would say, no, Clint, I believe they like us. I believe they like that music, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but, it, sure you know, is. really it wasn't. It was, hard to, it was hard for me to, for me, especially for me to ever realize that, that they really liked that kind of music. You know, as well as it is. I know the first show we ever played in New York, uh, Richard Blaunstein, you might not have heard of him. He's a professor, teacher at the university at Johnson City now, Tennessee. But anyhow, he was 14 years old, and he came to that show. And he, he liked the kind of music we played, and he went back home and learned to play old-time banjo and fiddle. And made a pretty good outfit, too. I mean, he's on an album with me. I got him to play an album. But he loved that, you know, that old music till it just got him turned on and he learned to play that music because he could, you know, he just liked it. Well, and, the same happened to us, really. And yeah, that's what happened to you fellas, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. We heard those old records and, you know, and thought that was the greatest music on, on earth. <laughs> we just yeah. got, our, got those instruments and we started learning. I know when I, when Doc and, and me and Fred was uh, playing and getting to play a little for shows, some of the boys where I'd lived with and they played music and they was pretty good musicians and they played bluegrass music and they'd say, Clint, I wouldn't learn them old songs that Clarence Ashley's been trying to get you to learn, like the Maggie Walker blues and uh, of course, Coon Dog. Tom didn't learn me the Coon Dog, but songs like that, you know. And I'd say, well, now they'd say Lester Flats got out one and you and now Bone Hits are going strong. I'd say, yeah, but I'm afraid nobody would never ask me to come and sing it. They'd ask Lester Flat. They wouldn't <laughs> ever ask me. I believe I better just learn something of my own. So I'd learn some of them old songs. They didn't like that though. They'd say I wouldn't fool with that stuff. Nobody want to hear it. And I'd say, well. Uh, they wouldn't want to hear me sing Lester Flat's tune because he just beat the socks off of me of <laughs> singing it. And, you know, that's true. Hey, yeah. That's just true. That, that, but they'd think I was wasting my time. And I, and it was, it, 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 you know, as far as doing it right there at right. home. Right. But well, when I got to California or to New York, they'd tickle to death to hear them old time. They'd hear it all that rock and roll and bluegrass stuff, you know, and it's going good and there wasn't anything wrong with it. I don't think you could think of no kind of music. I ain't never heard none that I didn't like some of it, do you? I don't like it all, but any kind of music that I can listen to on the radio or TV or anywhere else, there's a some of it that I like. Yes, right. Well, of course, some of it I like better. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll do another one because I, I wasn't a couple of bubbles I made in there, you know. Yeah. I have to be careful because there's a lot of things I want to do when I'm playing and I don't know how to do them. So I, sometimes I run off and they don't come out right. And I shouldn't do that. So I didn't jam in, you know, to do it sometime. But. Howdy, folks. We're the Kruger Brothers from Switzerland. And when you're on the road here in Carolina hungering for the best home-style cooking in Wilkes County, we always go to Harold's Restaurant. Big juicy burgers, country-style steak, chicken and dumplings, super salads and cold plates, homemade pies and puddings, and especially important for us, breakfast served all day. For the best home-style food and extra-friendly service, visit Harold's Restaurant, conveniently located on Highway 115, downtown Broadway in Wilkesboro. Harold's Restaurant. Food so great, you'll scrape your plate. When did you write?
about that anyway. <laughs> it's about 10, 15, probably 15 years ago. It's been out a while. But I don't remember when or why or where. They're all lost in history. Coming back today. I love the two. Thank you. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay. One. left tonight just enough concentration for party yeah. it's okay <laughs> tonight we party okay michael we're on hot cold 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 bring a lot of baby john hot cold 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 bring a lot of baby john hot cold 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 bring a lot of baby john fair to along cause we'll see you in the morning Yes, sir. Upstairs, downstairs, down in the kitchen. Upstairs, downstairs, down in the kitchen. Upstairs, downstairs, down in the kitchen. See Uncle Bill, he's a reader than a pill chip. Yes, sir. Hot cold cold corn, bring a lot of dame John. Hot cold cold corn, bring a lot of dame John. Hot cold cold corn, bring a lot of dame John. Fair to a Uncle 
we'll see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Yonder comes a preacher and the children are crying. Yonder comes a preacher and the children are crying. Chickens are holding and the toenails are flying. Yes, sir. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Federal uncle will see you in the morning. Yes, sir. All I need in this creation, all I need in this creation, all I need in this creation, a little fat woman and a big plantation. Yes, sir. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a dame John. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a dame John. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a dame John. Fair to a long, we'll see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Oh, Lane Peggy, won't you fill her up again? Oh, Lane Peggy, won't you fill her up again? Oh, Lane Peggy, won't you fill her up again? I ain't had a drink since I don't know when. Yes, sir. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Hot cold cold cold, bring along a ding dong. Head well, Uncle Bill, see you in the morning. Yes, sir. Oh, see, back in the early 70s, we were living up in Sparta, North Carolina. And in fact, uh, our, our middle son, Jesse, was born up in Galax General Hospital six weeks before the festival. So he's, he's born there in Galax. But we lived in Sparta, and just down the road in Laurel Springs, which is just a little bit, you know, a little bit west, there was a fellow named Eve Woody. And we got to know him pretty well. He was a good guitar player. And, and Eve, I knew when he was a young 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 kid had uh, fallen in a fire and had lost his sight so they had sent him off to a school for the blind where he'd learned to weave cane for chairs and then sometime when he was I guess in his late teens his sight just came back all of a sudden so but he still knew how to weave, you know, weave the cane chairs and uh, his wife Effie was the postmaster down at Laurel Springs but it was a family of fine musicians they still have a barn dance over there that you can go to and then I moved back to North Georgia I was sitting around one day and I was listening to one of those early county sales releases, you know, the, the, it was like County 101 where they had those reissues of early recordings. And I was listening and I thought, I know that voice. I know that voice. I was listening to a version of Butcher Boy. And I thought, you know, that sounds just like Eve Woody, but I didn't, you know, I, I knew Eve had never recorded. So I looked on it and, and it... Uh, said that the song was by Ephraim Woody and the Henpecked Husbands. Now, you wouldn't use a name like that for a band today, but this was the 1930s. And I thought, you know, I wonder if Eve's name is Ephraim. You know, it's a good old Bible name. I thought, I'll bet he's named Ephraim. I called him up. I said, Eve. He said, yeah. He said, did you ever make any records? He said, yes. I said, well, why didn't you ever tell me? He said, well, you never asked. <laughs> I said, where did you do this? And he said, I did it down in Bristol, Virginia. I said, what year was that? He said, I think he said it was like 1932, whatever year it was that Ralph Peer was down there recording the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers and all. And I said, well, Eve, that's a part of history. He said, didn't do me any good. And I said, well, do you remember the songs you recorded? He said, well, that, that one that you, uh, that you heard on the record, that was one. He said, there were three others. And I said, well, next time I come up, you got to tell me what the others were. He said, do you think there's any chance of my getting any royalties? I said, I don't know. I'll, I'll find out. I wrote, wrote Chris Strackwitz, who uh, was, uh, I mean, well, no, I don't know why I wrote Chris. Anyway, maybe, maybe it was Dave Freeman of a county sales, but whoever it was, and they sent him a royalty check for $11 and something, whatever it was. He was real proud of that. But then I, I went up to see Eve, and I said, so what were the other songs? I don't remember what two of them were, but this one over there was one of them. And I said, well, did it, did it ever come out on record? He said, yes, it did. He said, but... You know, they ruined it. They ruined it. I said, well, what did they do? He said, well, they wouldn't let me do all the verses. And I said, well, Eve, you know, half the songs you've, you've got go for eight or ten minutes, you know, and they, these were the old 78s. They couldn't put 
any more than two minutes and 45 seconds on it. And I said, well, uh, what was the verse that they made you leave off? And he said, well, it was the last one. He said, but they, they said there was nothing wrong with the verse, but it's that I only had two minutes and 45 seconds. Now, this song goes by in less than two minutes, let me tell you. you know. So I uh, got Aif to sing me the song. Of course, when he came to the last verse, you know, I, I knew why they left it off, you know. <laughs> so I sing it. I sometimes, you know, I get to a festival and I, I'll, I'll sing this in the gospel uh, set. And I'll do the first three verses and I'll say, you know, now if you ever trace down this recording, this is all you're going to hear, but there is a fourth verse. I said, I don't want to be disrespectful of folks singing gospel music here. I said, but, but you know, Eve was a good Christian. He really was. And this is the way he sang the song to me, so I'm going to sing it to you this way. J.P. Cormier's wife... Uh, fell off of her piano bunch bench when I sang it up in Nova Scotia because it's uh, <laughs> but uh, he, he, you know Eve sang it to me he, and I said Eve are you sure are you sure that it was just because the song was too long and he said Sai that's what they told me <laughs> all right that's all I want to hear So back in 1985 or 86, I was doing this album with Pete Seeger and Jane Sapp, because Pete had written a book with a guy named Bob Reiser of all the great labor and civil rights and women's songs out of U.S. history. And I didn't think anybody read music, and I didn't know how people were going to learn them. So I said, well, you know, Pete, why don't we make a record of all the songs, and then folks can learn them from the record, which is the way folks learn songs. He said, well, let's do that. So we went into the studio with Bruce Kaplan, who was the head of Flying Fish Records in those days and before he died, and he was producing it. It was in the studio of Fred Hellerman, which he was one of the weavers. And we were running through, we were doing like 22 different songs. And I wanted to do a version of an old song by a guy named Gil Turner from the 50s called Carry It On. And I wanted to do it just me and electric bass, nothing else, right? But I knew all the stories about how Pete had gotten to Newport around Dylan and the electric stuff, so I was really a little bit worried about doing anything electric with Peter Round, because you know this was like this was not going to be stand up bass. This was lay down, sit down bass. You know, so I because and and Pete, you know, Pete was probably about seventy then, and, and he took a nap every day. Well, I take a nap every day too, so you know I'm real sympathetic. But he would he would about two o'clock he would just fade out, phase out. He'd go upstairs and go to sleep. So I figured, well, that's the time to get this thing done before he gets down. You know, so Pete goes off to sleep, and. Me and this guy named John Miller, who was the jazz bass player from New York, who was working on the session. We got in there real fast. We were all rehearsed. And we were laying this thing down. It was great. He does this great bass work. You know, it's really, it's really funky. It's really fuzzy. You know, and I'm singing against it. It's really nice. So we're just finishing up the cut, and we're playing it back. And uh-oh, I see Pete coming down the stairs out of the corner of my eye, and I think, uh-oh. I've had it now. Because, you know, I don't want to be on Pete Seeger's bad side. I was glad enough to know him, and I didn't want him thinking badly of me or anything like that. And he kind of he kind of looked funny, you know, listening to this thing. And so I figured, well, I better let let's get it over with. I said, so, so Pete, what do you think? He said, I don't know what to think. And he turned around and went back upstairs. So I figured, okay, well, that's the end of my relationship with Pete Seeger. You know, <laughs> didn't say anything at supper, didn't say anything in the evening session. He came down the next morning. He said, could I talk to you privately? 
well, you know, what are you going to say? So I figured, well, he wants to talk to me privately. He gets to talk to me privately. We, so we sat down. He said, I want to talk to you about that song I heard yesterday. And I thought, well, there goes the electric bass. There goes the song. There goes my career. And he said, you know, I think I've got a banjo part figured out for it. And I wanted to know how you'd feel about my putting it on the song. So I figured, okay, there's, there's a fellow who can move with the times, you know. Hey, we put the banjo on it and it sounds good. So that's about banjos where they don't belong. That thing not working? Uh, I just... One, two, three, four. <laughs> Guys, come on over here, man. Listen to listen to this corner of the garage. It sounds great. This is a pretty good thing. Okay. This is really different. Trail will wind, drifting along. 
along with the tumble and tumbleweed. I know, I know, when night is gone, when night is gone, there's a new world that's born at dawn. Oh, oh, oh. My heart there's a song Here on the range I belong Drifting along with the tumble and tumble Tumble.